here we're going to try to show you how to use this Ward's caliper that we use in physical science and physics class in order to make more precise measurements. Now we'll use this slab as an, an example. So the caliper slides, it's got two scales, an outside scale and an inside scale. We're measuring the outside dimensions. Inside would be if we were measuring inside of a pipe or a tube. So that's not occurring. So we're only going to use that outside scale. And we clamp it down lightly. Don't squeeze too hard on it. And then we look to see what the scale reads. And I'll zoom in here so we can see much better. All right. Now this scale here is in millimeters, millimeters. And when we're reading the outside dimension of an object, which is what we're doing here, we read from where this zero is. So this is 21, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's 25 millimeters, but we can see it's a little bit past halfway to the 26th line. Now, how far is that? We read the sliding scale here, the vernier scale, and we look for which of these tick marks on the sliding outside scale lines up with the line, the tick mark right below it. So the first one, no, 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 no. Getting closer. Oh, pretty close. This is the one that appears to be most lined up, and that is the seventh tick mark. And, you know, it's not quite perfect. It's kind of between these two, six and seven. So what this reads is 20, one, two, three, four, five, and then point six, five, because it's between these two. So this scale reading is, again, 25 point, and then this and this almost line up, but not quite. So that's the sixth and seventh. So we're going to say it's between it, the, six, the point six, five. And we would write that as, let's zoom back out. So you can see the paper and the scale. 25.65. And that's again because why the 65 is because when we look closely, oh, a little bit too close, can't quite focus, we see that the 6th and 7th, the 6th is not quite perfect, it's a little bit past, the 7th is a little bit short, so it's between the 6 and 7, so 0.65. Now what about another dimension? Let's look at the other dimension. So this longer one, again. We expand our caliper, let me adjust, clamp it down lightly, make sure it's square, look at our scale, let's get a closer view of our scale, and what we got here is this is 80 millimeters, and then each of these is one more. So that's 85, 6, 7, 8, 9, 89, and it's almost lined up perfectly on the 89. But if we look, is the one lined up a little better? And if that is exactly on the one, and 
it's pretty darn close. If that's exactly on the 1, we would write that this is 89.10, and these are millimeters. So again, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 1. 89.1, and if that 1 is lined up exactly, we can put 1, 0 on that and write that down like this, 89.10 for that reading. Now the uncertainty of these is a half that if we were going to add uncertainties to this, we would put plus or minus 0 0.05. So this last digit is the guess. That is the least significant or the least precise measurement. That is the one we estimate visually. Everything else is indicated clearly on the scale. All right, so we do have uncertainty in that last digit there. And it's about a half a unit. All right, how about the other dimension? Now that's this way. Clamp your scale down. Not tight. Don't squeeze. And here, we'll a tad more. Make sure we're focused. And here again, we read where the zero is. Not this. No, no, no. We read the zero of the outside scale because we are reading the outside dimensions of this slab. And we see that this is at the sixth millimeter. So it's six millimeters, a little bit past halfway. So we'll see the first. No, no, don't line, doesn't line up, doesn't line up, doesn't line up. Getting closer. Looks like this, the sixth one, lines up pretty much dead on. And, yeah, the fifth one does not, seventh one does not, sixth one looks very good. So there, we would write that that is going to be 6.60 millimeters. And the uncertainty is half of that last digit. We're not very concerned in physical science about uncertainties here. We just want to read this to the most precise measure allowable, which is the one where we guess this last digit to the half. These other digits are all indicated clearly on the scale. And again, how is that 6.6? .6? Because the zero up here is just past the sixth mark. That's our first measurement, six millimeters. And then the veneer scale, the sliding scale, it is the sixth squeeze gently, the sixth one that lines up with the line below it. So that means the next digit is that six. And I think it lines up very well. So I'm going to put a zero after that. All right, hopefully that helps you work with vernier calipers in physical science. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.